Hello everyone, my name is Gabby and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are doing my top 10 most complimented perfumes and I'm also going to show you two perfumes that let's say didn't get me compliments, okay? So, number 10, it's going to be Givenchy Leave You Resistible. This is the um, delicious edition. was limited edition, it's discontinued right now, but you can still find it online. So this one. I really like this one. I can't say that I love it, but I really, really like this one. And I, and I get it. So, I got the compliments just from guys on this one, okay? It's a fruity, it's a cherry cupcake. Like, a cherry tart or cherry cupcake. It's, it's a gourmand fragrance. It has a lot of cherry, but it's not, the cherry is not as... Um, how do I say it? It's not as, like a true cherry as it is in uh, La Petite Robe Noir. It's more like a lipsticky cherry, but still it's a gourmand one. So yeah, it's not my favorite, but from what I have in here, all of the guys, most of these perfumes were like complimented by guys. So all of them, they are gourmands or super sweet or yeah. I like this one. I really do. Um, the original one, Leave Irresistible, is pretty similar. It doesn't have the cherry note. It has pineapple and passion fruit, I think. The difference is not that big. This one is better, in my opinion. Last in Power, it's alright. The CH, it's alright. But let's say guys in their 20s gave me compliments on this one. So yeah, that was... Givenchy, Live Irresistible, Delicious. Number nine. Number nine we have Carolina Herrera, Good Girl. This is the original one. <sighs> I really like this one, alright? It has 20 notes. I already said that before. It has praline, it has cacao, it has uh, vanilla. It, it It's a lot going on. But the smell, for me the smell is nothing wow but i get it so this one i wear this one in work and let's start let me explain so i work in a clothing store right that is just for men we're selling just men's clothing in there so of course a lot of guys are coming in with this one i didn't really get like so many compliments like oh i really like your perfumes but i could see their faces they were like it's it has that don't talk to me effect in my opinion i think it's it's sweet it's very sweet but not as sweet as la vie belle don't don't think that sweet it's sweet for a night out but it has that effect that i'm a strong sexy woman but i would prefer not to talk to me like keep your distance yeah for me for me this one is the best perfume to wear if you're going if you're going to a party and you know your ex is gonna be there because it has that it has that effect it's like he's gonna see you you're gonna look like flawless and wearing this and he's gonna be like oh hi and you can be oh bye but you don't even have to say oh bye because this perfume is like nope not today don't talk to me so yeah I really like this one the guys that I work with, my colleagues, because they know that I love perfumes. So they're giving me compliments all the time. Or when they don't like a perfume, they're telling me, oh, I don't really like that one. But with this one, I got lots of compliments from them. But just from them. Because I know them. Does it make sense? But for someone that doesn't know you, I think they're going to like the scent. But they're going to be like, uh, should I talk to her or should I not? But yeah, it's a very nice perfume. I think everyone, not everyone, but most people like this one. Great for a night out. It has very good lasting power. You can find this one, tip, you can find this one uh, in a gift set and you can get the oil with a shimmer or you can get the body lotion and it's gonna last you even more. But yeah, overall it's a very nice perfume. Number eight, it's gonna be, it's a new one my collection 
is the Jean Paul Gaultier label. Hmm, this one has three notes, pear, vetiver and vanilla. In the opening it's a lot of pear and then it's a small key, vanilla, a little bit spicy in my opinion, but still has a gourmand feeling. This one I wore it twice, I believe, but in those two days I got compliments on this, okay? So working in a clothing store, I work in a mall, okay? So there are like, I don't know, five, six perfume stores. That's why all the time before my shift, I try perfumes and every week I end up buying like four or five new perfumes. Yeah. Anyway, all the time I test my perfumes, I spray on my skin and I'm asking the guys that I work with, what do you think about this one? What do you think about this one? But I don't spray just one so they can say, oh yeah, I like it. No, I spray all the time, at least five or six so they can choose. And all of them, and I mean all of them, when they smell this one, they're like, oh wow, oh wow, that's nice, that's very nice. Again, lasting power, less, I think this one is a little bit better, the lasting power compared to the um, good girl. But still, very good lasting power, the sillage is great. I think you can wear this one in the spring, N maybe not in the days, but during the nights for sure you can wear this one, uh, fall, winter. Yeah, it's a compliment getter. Number eight, Jean Paul Gaultier label. Next we have, oh, my baby, Armani Code Satin. Okay, this one again, sorry guys, but this one has been, has been discontinued. What can you do? It's pretty hard to find it online. You can still find the cashmere one. It's not the same, cashmere is not as sweet as this, but if you if you find it online and you like the perfumes that I like, get it. Seriously, it's that good. I don't understand why they discontinue this. Why they did that? So this, it's vanilla, some... It has some cacao, but I can't really smell it. It has tonka bean. It's very, very sweet, seductive perfume. It still has the original Armani Code DNA. I really don't like that one. For me, that one, it's too cold. It's too intense. It's not sweet enough. This one, this one is amazing. If the Carolina Herrera was the uh, don't talk to me, this one, it's more like, mm, if you're cute, I'm going to give you a chance. Yeah, I really, really like this one. It's it's sexy. Let me let me tell you, it's very sexy. I said in my perfume collection that I used to wear this everywhere, but that's just me. Just this me because I don't care. Like seriously, I I don't care if people are gonna say, oh, she smells too sexy. I I don't care. But this, in my opinion, is great to for a night out. Let's say with your boyfriend, with your fiance, with your husband, after this lockdown, after him seeing you just in pyjama with no makeup for two months, get dressed and put this on. It's, it's so sexy. Seriously, it's so sexy. I got lots of compliments and most of the compliments from guys. That was number six, seven. 10, 9, 8, 7. Number 7, Armani Code Satin. Another one, okay, you are going to say now, oh, that's so overhyped, that's so, I know, I know. Everyone used to talk about this perfume, everyone used to love this perfume, and now suddenly everyone is like, eh, no. But it's still a good one. It's still a good perfume, and I'm talking about Armani C. I'm sorry, but everyone gives me compliments with this one. It's not my favorite anymore. It's not my top 10. It's not in my top 10. But everyone likes this one. And especially girls. What I notice, the ones that are like very, very sexy, seductive, or very um, gourmand, let's say, guys like those ones. 
this is a very sweet floral has bunch of flowers in it I'm not sure if it's like bunch but has flowers in it and has some patchouli has some vanilla it's a very 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 sweet floral perfume all of the girls that work with me um, they don't like perfumes they like perfumes but they don't like my perfumes they like like Dolce & Gabbana like like blue or Gucci Guilty or things like that very very fresh subtle nothing in your face and I'm exactly the opposite and I have this this friend she absolutely hates she hates all of my perfumes except this one because it's a floral perfume it's still very sweet but it's a floral one it doesn't have that gourmand feeling so yeah I think this one is great for every occasion seriously it's not worn that much anymore people are not crazy about it anymore and I will, I will still rock this one this is good guys so that was number six yeah number six C by Giorgio Armani number five hmm alien essence absolute so like I said before it has the alien vibe alien DNA but has this syrupy thing on top it has more but for me I have no idea how that smells for me it smells a little bit like cinnamon this one again I wore this one I think twice because I bought this one right before lockdown so Look how much I use. When I said I overspray, this is what I mean. Like, I use this, this one twice. Anyway, so I, I was in work and I had a cup of coffee in my hand and then I sprayed this perfume. And one of my friends, one of the guys that work with me, he went, oh my God, Gabby, what is that? What is that? That smells amazing. He thought it's the coffee, the coffee, coffee, the, the cup of coffee. What was me? Because it has this syrupy, this, I know, it's so good. Again, it's discontinued. Bo, bo. I smelled this one for the first time, I think, a couple of years ago. But I didn't buy it. And then last year, someone on YouTube was talking about this. And I remembered that I smelled this one and I really liked it. So I was like, okay, I'm going to order it. It was absolutely impossible. It was impossible to find this one online. And right now, even though it's still discontinued and you, you can't smell it in stores, you can find it, I think it's everywhere now. On every website that I look, this one is there. So I know. Are they bringing it back? Let's hope for that. But I know. Yeah. If you like Alien, but you want a more sexy and sweet, I like Alien, but not on me. It just doesn't work with my, my, my body chemistry. Mm. Alien Absolute by Mugler. Okay. Number four. We have Lancome La Nuit Trésor à la Folie. This it's again, I think everyone already is over Lancome, especially when they released uh, La Vie Belle and La Nuit. Everyone was just like, oh my God, Lancome, Lancome, Lancome. And after one year, everyone was just like, I'm done with Lancome. But I still like them. Guys give you compliments on this. So many guys were like, oh my God, what's that? Oh my God, what is that? Everyone likes this one. One time I was exactly at the front of the store and one guy was walking and he stopped he got inside the store and he he told me oh my god you smell amazing i wasn't sure if it's you or it's something else but you smell amazing i was like okay thank you yeah this is such a compliment getter and now we're going to my number three you're gonna hate me it's the original one let me trace off Every single time when I wear this one, I'm getting compliments. This one is more like a vanilla. 
this one is more like a smoky rose. I think they're different enough to buy both of them. If you want just one, I would recommend this one. Because this one has also a pear note and at some point it can, it can have this medicinal feeling. But that one, no, this one is a very rich creamy vanilla. So I would recommend this one over this one. But I got more compliments with this just because I have it for a longer time. Okay. So that was La Nuit Reza by Lancome. Second spot, we have, everyone's going to hate me now, but that's the reality. Lancome La Vie Belle. I'm not, I'm not wearing this anymore. I'm just like tired and I, I get it. Everyone is tired of this. But the guys love it. I know you should, you should not wear perfumes for other people. But let's be honest. When a cute guy is telling you, hmm, you smell nice, something in you is like, oh, okay. Like, you want to smell uh, different, but we all want compliments, okay? So this, everyone knows, this is like this very, very, very sweet perfume. Has some patchouli, some flowers in the vanilla. Guys love it. I think here in UK... Um, people are wearing more flower bomb because all of the guys so usually guys in their like 30s, 40s are giving me compliments on this one I'm surprised because this one it's very sweet this one it's very I don't know it's not like a sexy mature scent it's, it's not yeah it's, it's not very mature like someone that it's 16, 17, I think, can wear this. Also, someone that is 30, 40 can wear this, but it's not going to give you that, hmm, vibe. Do you know what I mean? But all of them, that's me. It's a flower bomb. Because they're, they're very similar. Let's be honest. They're very, very similar. Flower bomb, in my opinion, is more floral. This one, it's sweeter. I like sweet perfume, so I got the La Vie Belle. But what I was saying. Yeah, all of them, they were asking me, it's a flower bomb. I was like, no, it's actually La Vie Belle. Because my wife has it. So I think for them, just because every single woman is having it, and they just have in their mind the picture of their wife or girlfriend, and they have a good feeling about it. They like this perfume. I know. I know what I'm talking about. But yeah. That's La Vie Belle by Lancome. Number two. And... Number one, Elisab Girl of Now. Guys, this is my second bottle, okay? I'm not that into it anymore because I wear, I, I wear this one so much, so much. But this, this has that pistachio note. It has almond. It has um, that specific Elisab uh, orange blossom. This is so good. Like, this is so good. One time, one guy asked me if I can show him. I had a bottle in, in my bag. And he asked me the, for the name of the perfume. I told him the name. And he, he didn't really understand the Ellie Sub. And I told him that I have it with me. And he, if he wants to see it. And he was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, let me see. I want to take a picture. I want to buy it for my, for my wife. She's going to love this one. Every single time, everyone is crazy about this one. Women, men, most of the men, but they're crazy about this one. I think this, this one, it's the perfect scent for your third date. Not the first one, not the second one, the third one, during the day. You know why? Because this one, it's flirty. This one... You expect to smell this one on a beautiful young lady that it's also a very funny person. It's a little bit silly, but she's she's flirting with you, but not that obvious. She's more like teasing you. Do you know what I mean? Is that type? And not everyone is wearing it. That's the point. It's not like La Vie Belle that he's gonna smell it everywhere. It's like you're going on a date with this guy and you spray this on 
and you are gonna be like funny and there's to be flirty and then he's going home you are getting home and you never text him yeah this is what you do and then he's gonna be oh why she's not texting me why she's not calling me and he's gonna text you or call you because he's gonna rem remember this smell every single time when he's gonna smell this one he's gonna remember you okay is that good it's it's something that it's, it's the same as um it's very recognizable let's say that you know how a angel yeah angel from nuclear smells you know how alien smells you know how this one smells once you smell this one you are gonna know how this one smells okay it's that good elisab girl of now and now two perfumes one of them i love one of them i just like the one that let's start with the one that i just like ariana grande um thank you next so this one guys i think it's a it's a nice perfume it's a fruity sweet perfume so i sprayed this one i think one week ago and I, I was sitting with my boyfriend in the garden and he asked me why, why do you spray perfumes in the house i don't understand and i told him because i love perfumes i don't spray perfumes for other people i spray perfumes for myself he was like yeah oh yeah i get it oh also you, you spray you spray this one like this is a cheap one i was like wait what it's a cheap one right i i guys i didn't tell him what perfume this one is or i didn't show him the bottle nothing he just smelled me and he went like oh it's a cheap one i was like what, what, what do you mean it's a cheap one it, it smells like like a body spray it doesn't smell like a expensive perfume like your perfumes so yeah i'm a little bit disappointed but it's not like this one smells like you have a million dollars but i wasn't expecting to get that because i kind of liked it so now i really like this one I wore this just once. I went to work. It was just me and one colleague. She is wearing Gucci Guilty and that that's it. Just Gucci Guilty all the time. She likes my perfume. She's the only one that actually likes my perfumes. And I spray this one. Okay, this is a very creamy, milky, sweet sandalwood is different guys this one is different but it's so nice i bought this one because jeremy fragrance was saying that this is a compliment getter and the first time when i smelled it, i was like yes 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 it smells so good guess what i sprayed this one and like i said i'm on over sprayers so i'm like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then my friend, she knew that I bought this one, but she, she had no idea how the bottle looks like. And she asked me, is that your new perfume? And I said, yeah, that's my new perfume. Oh, I've, last time it smelled different. I said, no, no, it's not that one. It's actually a new one. Oh, I prefer the other one. And that's her. Oh, you, you don't like this one? Guys, they're telling me all the time because I told them, just tell me. And she was like, eh. It's not really my favorite and that's why like like why tell me like what's wrong with it for me it's kind of smells like um a new carpet a new carpet and guys it actually smells like a new carpet it's so weird it has a, a new carpet or i i can't remember the name but the like products to clean the carpet I, I'm not sure if all of them have this smell but this smells like a carpet and now all the time when I smell this one I'm like this is so nice and then I smell it again and it's carpet so yeah those were my perfumes uh, I was thinking for my next video to do I have two options either a haul because I have some new perfumes or to do a 
tips and tricks how to buy perfumes for less but I mean like for like less you tell me which one would you like to see because I think people when, 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 when they see this huge perfume collection they're gonna be like oh she's spending so much money but I'm not I'm actually not like perfumes usually I don't know this one the 50 ml usually is 40 50 pounds right I got this one for 23 pounds and it came with the body lotion right and um, this one the 100 ml it's 80 90 I got this one for 55 I believe I know how to get perfumes for like very very cheap you have to struggle a little bit but I'm gonna show you in that video but let me know which one would you like to see next the haul or how to get expensive perfumes for less yeah that's it for today guys I really hope you enjoy my videos I'm so so grateful I have 100 subscribers I know for some of you I'm like Gabby it's just 100 but for me it's a lot trust me it's a lot so thank you thank you so so much if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and let me know in the comments below which is the perfume that is getting you the most compliments see you guys next time